Hello everyone, welcome again to Graphiculator YouTube channel. Today I will show you that how to create this awesome cinematic color grade to your photos. Okay then, let's get start. I have selected this image you can see here. I have placed the link of this image in the description below. You can download this if you are interested. First of all I need to mention that I have resized this image to 16 by 9 aspect ratio, which is a common screen size of a HD video but you can use any of image size for this color grade. But it is good to resize image to a common screen size because we are going to create a cinematic effect. Okay I will quickly show you that how to crop your image to this 16 by 9 aspect ratio. This is the original image I opened in Photoshop. Then take the crop tool from toolbox or you can press letter C in your keyboard to get crop tool. And go to the option toolbar. And select 16 by 9 in this drop down menu. Need to make sure that delete crop pixels unticked. And press enter to apply the crop. Then take the move tool and adjust the background image as you like. Because if we untick delete crop pixels option, we can adjust this image later as we need. All crop pixels are now hidden, instead of delete. Okay, back to the edit again. I will go to the layer palette to make a duplicate layer from this background layer. Press Ctrl J or Command J to create a duplicate layer. Then I'm going to convert this new layer to a smart object by right clicking on the layer, and click on convert to smart object. You can see that this layer now converted to a smart object. Then with select of this smart object layer and go to the filters. I'm going to add high pass filter to add little bit sharpness to the image. Click on filters. Other. High pass. Set radius to maybe 4 and click OK. Now you can see this high pass effect has been applied to the whole image. But this is not the effect I want. To change this, go to the layer palette and double click on these little slider icon in the high pass smart filter. It will open up this edit window. Change the blending mode from normal to overlay. And reduce to opacity around 50. Let's keep this 51. And click OK. Now I'm going to add an adjustment layer to make this color grading. Select this new layer and go to the new adjustment layer icon at the bottom of the layer palette, and click on selective color. It will create selective colors adjustment layer on top of the selected layer. And you can see the properties panel over here. We can do the color adjustment by using these sliders in properties panel. I will click on this colors drop down menu in properties panel. You can see that there are number of colors has been given in here so you can adjust color tones in image by using these colors. I will select this black color first, so we can adjust the shadow color of the image by changing this black color. I will increase the black value to give more rich dark look for shadows. And then reduce the yellow value. Keep in mind that opposite side of this yellow slider is blue. Reducing yellow means that we increase the blue color of the image and I'll reduce the magenta value also slightly. Opposite side of this magenta slider is green. Reducing magenta means increasing green color. Then go to the cyan slider. And I will increase the cyan value by moving this slider. Yes you thought it right. Opposite side of this cyan slider is red, and we can reduce the reds in shadows by increasing cyan color. Okay, try to understand the theory in here. Opposite of cyan is red. Opposite of magenta is green, and opposite of yellow is blue. You can play around the colors when you understand this theory. So the values in here are not that much important because these values will be vary from image to image. It is easy to adjust colors when you understand the theory. Then go back to the drop down menu and select neutrals. Now I'm going to adjust the colors in the neutrals colors if this image. Theory is same as previous. Increase cyan color to reduce the red tone and reduce magenta to increase green and reduce yellow to increase blue finally increase the black value in neutrals by moving this black slider okay now we almost created this blue and black color tone we see in movies but still not finish i need to increase the red color if this girl's face and body Go back to the drop-down menu and select red. Changes we make for this red color will affect only for the red colors in image. So it is easy to boost up this girl's skin color by changing the red color values. 
This time I reduce the cyan to increase the red. And increase magenta to reduce green in red tones. Then increase the yellow to reduce blue in red tones. Okay. I will leave black color as it is without changing. Now you can see that we are getting closer to the final effect. Then I need to add another adjustment layer to reduce the color vibrancy in this image. Select the selective color adjustment layer. And go to the new adjustment icon at the bottom of the layer palette and click on vibrance. It will create a vibrance adjustment layer on top of the selective color adjustment layer. Go to the properties of this adjustment layer. Then I'll bring down the saturation of this image slightly. Minus 37 looks good for this case. Then finally I will add curve adjustment layer on top of these two layers. Select the vibrance adjustment layer, and go again to the new adjustment layer icon at the bottom of the layer palette. And click on curves. Then go to the properties panel to adjust the curves. I will bring down the mid tone slightly like this. and then select the blue channel. Then I'll increase the output of blue channel like this. Then select green channel and increase the output of green channel slightly. Finally go to the red channel, and I'll increase the mid-tone of the red color in very small amount like this. Okay, now we can see the difference between original and edited image. This is the original, and this is the after. And finally I will add black bars to the top and bottom to get more cinematic look for this image. Take the rectangle tool from the toolbox, and draw a rectangle like this. And you can see that it will automatically create a new layer in layer palette for this rectangle. Now we need to resize this rectangle to match with cinematic screen ratio. I'm going to resize this square to 2.35 by 1 ratio. Take the move tool, select the rectangle layer and go to the properties panel. Set width of the rectangle is 2350 pixels, and height to 1000 pixels. Then we need to center this rectangle to the image. Select the rectangle layer and press Ctrl A or Command A, to select all. And go to the option bar at the top. Then center this rectangle vertically and horizontally. Press Ctrl D or Command D to remove selection. Then press Ctrl T or Command T to activate transform controls. And scale up the rectangle to fit with the image width. Then press Enter or Return key to apply transform. Then go to the rectangle layer in layer palette. Hold down the Ctrl key or Command key, and click on the thumbnail of the layer to make a selection. Now we have this selection around the rectangle, but we need inverse selection of this. Press Ctrl Shift I or Command Shift I to inverse the selection. Now we have this inverse selection. So now we don't need this rectangle layer. I'll delete this by drag and drop to the recycle bin at the bottom of the layer palette. Then I need to create a new layer to fill this selection with black color. Go to the new adjustment layer at the bottom of the layer palette. And click on solid color. Change the color to solid black in this window. And click OK. OK that's it guys, now we have this blue and black cinematic color effect in this image. We can compare this with the original image. This is the original. And this is the after. Hope you have learned something new in this tutorial. Thank you for watching this. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And also share this video to see someone else. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel to see new tutorials and other design stuffs. See you in next video.